Virtual reality is now becoming accepted as a research tool for engineering and science, but VR equipment is still expensive. Few installations can afford to have enough VR stations to support all their developers simultaneously. This video demonstrates the Cave Simulator, a tool that emulates the Cave virtual reality system, allowing VR applications to be developed on any workstation running Silicon Graphics GL. The simulator performs two major tasks, displaying the immersive environment in a window and simulating the 3D tracking hardware. The virtual environment is displayed in a normal workstation window. There are three different modes for this display. The first mode shows the scene just as it would be displayed on one of the cave walls. The user can switch between different walls to see the entire scene. The second mode displays a less restricted perspective view from the simulated user's position. The third mode is a view from the outside of the cave, showing the simulated user in the cave from a third-person perspective. This allows the developer to see the entire cave space and to check the placement and size of objects relative to the viewer. The simulator also emulates the input from the 3D trackers and wand. The simulated user's head can be moved about the cave space using keyboard controls. The mouse is used to move the wand with the mouse buttons taking the place of the wand buttons. The display of the head, wand, cave outline, and timing information is performed by simulator functions. These enhancements are completely transparent to the application code. The cave simulator makes it possible for numerous cave applications to be developed simultaneously without excessive competition for hardware access. Because the simulator provides the same functional interface as the actual cave library, an application can be transferred to the cave with a minimum of effort. The simulator was used extensively for the Vroom exhibit at the SIGGRAPH 94 conference, where more than 40 applications were demonstrated in the cave. Almost half of these applications were never run in the cave itself until shortly before the conference.